Hello everyone, my name is Terry Prism and welcome back to XCOM 2. Last episode we assaulted the enemy UFO and it went uh, surprisingly well despite a few hiccups uh, here and there. Especially that the opening uh, salvo on that enemy group, it was... Uh, I can't believe that actually worked so well. Anyway, without further ado, let's uh, just check uh, what uh, just the word and I'll get we have uh, on our agenda. I think uh, we are uh, going to need some... Uh, yeah, these uh, Kremlin marks. I'm uh, going to build these for our squad. And uh, can we make anything else? We could afford this uh, too, but um, then uh, would we need uh, something else? This money to something else too. We're definitely going to need uh, more supplies, but I'm going to wait up uh, with this. Uh, I probably could have saved a lot now. of time repairing the ship's systems if we had any idea how to translate their language. Unfortunately, we don't come across many linguists out here. And can we put anything on the uh, proving grounds? We got plenty of cores, so. I think we can make something now. I'm uh, going to go and uh, make these plasma grenades, or at least one of them. Sounds good, Commander. I'll let you know as soon as the project is And maybe we should uh, put a blue screen protocol on Q2, and maybe another experimental ammo. Armor, I mean, not ammo. There we go. That should be enough for now on those. Then we got the uh, shadow chamber should be ready soon. Then uh, we should also get the uh, supply drop quite soon. Then uh, we have uh, plasma rifles incoming uh, on research. So maybe once this is all over, we should take this ship and go colonize one of their planets. And uh, before I was interrupted by Bradford, I was about to say maybe we should go and see if we can uh, find any more supplies uh, here. Battle site. Alien alloys, Elerium crystals. Hmm. Maybe we should uh, go there. Or can we build this uh, relay here? No, we miss supplies for that too. So, yeah, let's go and uh, get that uh, alien alloys and elerium crystals for us. Then uh, we can head to black market. Or maybe we should uh, just go and uh, gather this intel he from here. Avenger yeah, I think intel is more important at the, at the moment. Especially because we can use uh, that as our currency in black market. Strategic resource located. There we go. 52 intel. Not much, but uh, it's something. And of course, we are heading uh, out there right away. We still need those scientists. Avenger plotting new Six course. days to get new scientists. I'm okay with that. Shadow chamber now operational. There we go. Let's check out that facility. Although I'm impressed with the strides we've made in infiltrating the alien psionic network. The depths of their technological advancement continue to leave us one step behind. However, with the enhanced decryption capabilities of this chamber, I'm confident we will find a great deal more information than we had previously hoped. Objective added. Examining the recovered black site viola. Oh, right, that the first one. Because... New objective added. And then we also need to examine Codex Brain. Hmm. We are fully prepared to begin our analysis of the material recovered from the Advent black site, Commander. 
With the Shadow Chamber fully operational, we can use its advanced decryption capabilities to analyze the Codex artifact recovered by our forces. Yeah, let's take a check out uh, these. Hmm, which one uh, we should do first? Black side wheel or Codex brain? I think we should go with the black side wheel first. Recovered from the advent black side, this unknown substance appears to be the product of an equally gruesome and intensive refining process. As to its composition of or purpose, that is yet to have been determined. Let's go with that and then follow it with Codex Brain. Well, I kind of want to get those plasma rifles first. So, no, I'm not going to start that just yet. I'll be waiting for plasma rifle research to complete, then start with that shadow chamber research. But, do I have a spare engineer now? No, I don't. So let's just uh, go back and uh, try to contact this uh, scientist here. Priority coming through, Commander. Putting it on screen now. I had high hopes for the resistance under your well, leadership, Commander. And looks like we're going to yourself. get uh, those supplies instead of uh, waiting for the scientist. All right, these. So what's uh, next here? New construction. Uh, Alien facility will be up uh, faster, and well, that vigilance is still there. But what's this hidden one? Let's check out what it is. Faceless uh, on uh, every mission for a month. Alien facilities are somewhat easier, we can uh, knock out those, but uh, so having been suddenly flanked by Faceless, I'm not looking forward to that, so I'm most likely going to stop this, unless I get something really good from this alien facility one. And let's get those Avenger supplies and course. then uh, continue with that scientist. Three days. And we got the uh, room cleared. We could uh, build the defense matrix uh, over there. Hmm. And I'm going to assign a Kremlin to see speed up a Psylab construction. Oops, I wasn't going to do that, but... Should we actually build this or just save up those supplies? Hmm. I'll be saving up uh, supplies for now, until I can uh, get everything from this uh, supply drop, and then uh, see where I'm going to use them. And we got a uh, plasma grenade done. I'll be checking that out. Oh, new project available. Advanced explosives. We honed our skills in developing and manufacturing explosive ordnance mirroring that used in aliens own weaponry. Now we can use those skills to upgrade our entire arsenal of explosives using the latest technology. Oh nice! We might actually go and uh, drop one of that experimental armor so we can uh, get this one done. Yeah, I'll be make I'll be doing that. No, I'm not going to want to get the experimental armor. I want advanced explosives. Interesting choice. I'll in 14 days. 
Hmm, maybe I should make another. Ah, uh, no, no, I need to su those supplies. New orders, but Commander. I'm going to go here and build that. Uh, or should I wait with these two? So many places to spend um, our supplies. Let's get the rest of these. There we go. Ignore. Yes, I know. We are Avenger heading back out to uh, distress beacon. And Besides, continue. Now operational. Finally. Finally, finally. Um. Any rookie can be trained as powerful Psy operative by staffing them in the Psy lab. Staffing an engineer will decrease the time of all Psy lab training projects. I'm going to put uh, that forks of Kremlin back here, working on here, and then uh, we got several of, uh, or only three. Well, that's good enough. Three is rookies waiting to be trained as Psy operatives. Niels Bohr will be first one. Yes, I'm sure. Ooh. If I upgrade this place, I can uh, train two at a time. Hmm. Well, uh, one should be enough for now. Let's go and uh, get uh, that uh, scientist finally. Most likely I will be ending up uh, doing some uh, mission before I get this scientist though. The outcome of this research can only further our advances, Commander. Or maybe not. I actually get the plasma rifles first, and I should the have enough. Uh, be happy when they see we've got energy weapons just like theirs now. I was about to say uh, we're. I un I also forgot what uh, I was about to say. But we finally got those plasma rifles, and we got supplies uh, to make them, or should be able to make them right away. So, new item available, plasma rifle and beam pistol, and uh, three more researches uh, after that. Uh, beam cannon, plasma lance, and uh, storm gun. Hmm. I'm guessing plasma lance is... Uh, Basically, sniper rifle and a storm gun might be grenade launcher. Or actually, it could be shotgun instead. And beam cannon is, of course, cannon. Beam pistol, pistol the ultimate sidearm. This pistol integrates the alien's beam weapons technology to powerful effect. And plasma rifle. Now that we finally deciphered the alien's devastating weapon technology and can develop beam weapons of our own, we can build rifles that will be mat will be the match of any enemy our soldiers encounter in field. Sounds good. I kind of want to go and uh, put that. Uh, Shadow chamber to work, but at the same time, I kind of want to get the this, uh, rest of these guns too before that. Hmm. Yeah, I think we are going to head out and uh, assign uh, that the Shadow chamber project before continuing. Yes, I know. I was not if anyway. Going to admit it to Shin, but there is one thing I miss more than my lab equipment. Those damn juicy Advent burgers. I don't know where they get the meat, and frankly, I do not want to know. Blackside we are in four days. Yes, uh, we will uh, start that. There we go. Uh, 
Okay, like I kind of uh, expected. So let's head uh, back out to, to scan. Also, we should get the uh, Niels Bohr ready soon. And also, new scientist. And uh, blue screen protocol is done too. So let's carry on. EMP grenade. EMP grenades break havoc on the delicate electronic systems in mechanical and uh, robotic enemies, dealing considerable damage and potentially rendering them inoperable for a short period of time. Organic enemies are completely immune to these effects, however. So, this uh, should be useful on uh, some situations. And blue screen rounds. Named for in Applicable computing phenomenon common before the war, blue screen rounds wreak havoc on targeted electronic systems. Hmm. Doesn't sound too bad. And distress beacon. Uh, we picked up a distress beacon still broadcasting from somewhere nearby and deployed a squad directly to investigate. They successfully located a number of survivors, one of whom possesses. Uh, Scientific skill and expressed interest in joining XCOM's research team. Dr. Iris Han Hendricks. That's good. We got the research uh, time. Our research will be done a little bit faster. But now I let's go to Black Market. Course. Let's see what we can buy. Um, we can uh, rust this research, just not really going to do that. We can uh, get supplies, not too expensive, too. And uh, superior autoloader and hair trigger. And uh, personal combat uh, seems to. Let's start with uh, getting the supplies, and um, then we need to get some intel for this uh, scientist. But maybe we should get this. Um, Autoloaders and hair triggers. Or actually, that agility one uh, is also quite good. At least I think so. Yeah, I think I'll uh, take these two instead and then. Uh, Work on uh, getting some intel. There we go. And what uh, was it interested in? Advent Officer Corps, Advent Data Pass, and Advanced Repeater. I'm thinking of uh, finally selling this data pad. Because even though it uh, gets us some intel. Uh, I just feel it uh, being a little bit uh, too too small amount for stopping our research on uh, actual useful stuff. That should be enough. And now we got plenty of supplies to use. So let's start by beginning this. Uh, Radio relay build. Sector 13, South Africa. And after that, we head out uh, and uh, get some uh, I weapons and uh, stuff uh, built. Actually, let's go and do that right away, so we don't forget. No, I wasn't going to go ba in bar. Build items, weapons. Beam pistol and plasma rifle. Uh, 
and we can actually make this already because uh, Neil's bore is uh, almost done draining up. Having never stepped foot in one of the city centers, I've never actually had one of these advent burgers I keep hearing rumors about. No one really seems to be asking the hard questions either. Like, when was the last time you even saw a cow? Mm. Good questions. Good questions. I'll be checking out. Da Vinci's uh, equipment. Hmm. Not too bad. So let's just head back out now and back to building that relay tower. There we go. New ability inspire. Grant a bonus action immediately to nearby to a nearby squad mate. Nice. Depending on who you ask, psionics could be considered the alien's greatest strength. Now our own Psy operatives can tap into that same power. Psy operative trained. Uh, Nilspor can earn promotions and learn new abilities by continuing to train in Psylab. Psy operatives can still part participate in all combat missions while training and will automatically resume training if they return from combat uninjured. Hmm. So in a way we should uh, just keep him uh, still training. But on the other hand we could uh, use another Psy operative as rookie. Let's see. Ooh. If an enemy is carrying... Oh, that's... Uh, that's nasty. I like it. But uh, permanently mind control an enemy. That's also... I kind of like this. But there is also no null lands. But I think the domination might be might be most useful for us at the moment. I'm definitely going to need to upgrade this place. Let's start with Oh. That's that's a little bit of expensive side. Apparently I wasn't having enough of Oh. Does it mean I can actually get the this side too? Maybe. A weapon upgrade. All right, we, we might have to equip some uh, some upgrades on him too. How much supplies I have? 169. Okay, I kind of need to save up, but I also really want to build this defense matrix here. Defense so it's going up initiated. now. Then we need to upgrade resistance comms. Can we afford to do that? No, we can't. Yeah, we're kind of running out of uh, room to build. We might have to deconstruct something like this this power relay here to make up room for something else 
Right, like resistance comes. In any case, let's continue with this building. Advent retaliation. Well, let's head Team out and defend the chamber her. running the numbers. These are the tactical projections for our next field operation. Ooh. Something some unknown enemy. I'm uh, guessing it's uh, faceless. Then we are expected to see heavy mech, heavy lancer, advent shield bearer, and advanced officer. That's quite useful. So, time to head out uh, to New Brazil. Setting course for the Brazilian corridor. And give me a moment while I set up my squad and I'll be right back and welcome back and as you can see I'm not going to play around this time uh, bringing my most experienced guys uh, with me and uh, that includes Skylun as our healer specialist Archimedes as our combat hacker Kelly as our ranger Da Vinci as our sharpshooter, Kepler as our grenadier, and uh, this time uh, I'm uh, going to bring out our first time Psy operatives, Niels Bohr. Let's see what he can can he actually do something useful in this first mission of his. Anyway, let's just start. civilians as we can. Eliminate all hostile forces attacking the site. Make them regret coming after the resistance. Operation Black Apollo. Menace 1-5. Hostile forces are attacking the outpost. Eliminate all enemy units and protect those civilians. Advent came in hot and so did we. You won't have a concealed position for deployment on this one. Except uh, Kelly has, uh, has because of her abilities. I think uh, she could uh, go up here to take a long peek what uh, she can see. Moving to position. These chrysalids seem a little smaller than I remember. Then again... It was never really their size we had to worry about. And here's our first enemies. I always hated those chrysalids. On first game. And like I have uh, said uh, on a couple of uh, first uh, episodes I recorded, I know that they should have a new ability that they can burrow underground and uh, jump uh, straight out from there. I'm not looking forward to see that in action. So let's get everyone else in position. Can't really get the Da Vinci up properly on this turn. And if I just dash uh, he might just uh, trigger that group. So let's go with the uh, Archimedes behind no this problem, half cover. And you trigger that group. Well, luckily that uh, burned uh, that one. One of them. What kind of uh, shot chances you have? 91% And you didn't have any, any grenades because I I was being silly, I think If I move Kepler uh, 
here he can launch uh, that acid grenade on that uh, chrysalid crew. Ricardo. Not going to play around with them. Launch on a granata. That should be quite good. Now, Kailun, uh, can you get in position to shoot them? Maybe from... Actually, you can get a shot from here, I think. But... Maybe instead of uh, that, I'll move you. Mm, I don't think you can see them uh, from there. Yeah, I'm uh, going. Mm, or maybe you can't even see them. Uh, but you could uh, go and put kill zone up from here. I think you can afford to stay on the cover a little bit longer. But Niels... You can barely see one. Actually, I think this is another grenade time. I'm going to burn my grenades on those uh, chrysalids, but... Uh, I'd rather have them uh, dealt with than... Uh, Get them attacking my guys. Targets neutralized. 